hiya. Oh. <laughs> you. Faffing around. So Faffing around. around. Do you know what? You look I've fit. Actually... Woohoo! Um, I've, I've, I've actually trained three times this week. Well I'm done. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> should be. That's great. Um, Nothing. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm really getting into it. I've got um I go to this lady Jo, my PT, I go to um like she's got a studio. Yeah. And today I done it with two other ladies, which was really fun. You know, like sometimes it's nice to have, do it with other people I as well, so. like rather than just one on one. But yeah, I, and I've literally come from there and it's really hot today, I'm not moaning, but it's, really hot. it's um yeah, and I'm like rushing around, come straight in here and I'm faffing around as usual well, we're both and had a technical then. issue yeah and if you do <laughs> ten, 10 minutes late as usual no I'm joking as usual always something um, how are you this morning I'm good I actually feel like superwoman this week I'm not gonna lie so obviously I had the hen party which we'll go on to in a minute oh yeah so I got back from the hen sort of early evening Sunday and then Paul flew straight to Dubai for work I did have mum so that was great so I had mum Sunday Monday um, and then she went home but like for the rest of the week I've been doing it alone solo parenting with no help um and three children you know it's like school clubs cooking getting them in bed and it's not that it's Paul and Rosie are actually pretty easy but it's just Edward you know you know throw the third into the mix it's a lot harder um, do you know what I have to say apart from Greg sleeping here the last two weeks he hasn't got home till about 11 o'clock at night yeah. and I feel like a solo parent as well. I said that to him yesterday. I was like, because you are literally have to have dinners. But I mean, obviously, I know Paul's actually been away, but Greg's been literally getting up, doing the school running, not and getting home leaving. till like eleven, and then and you do feel like it's so intense, isn't it? Like everything so intense. So actually, this morning, um, I got one of my friends to help me with Edward. I was like, look, I do need a couple of hours. I need to do the school run, which is fine. I've been doing that with Edward anyway. But I was like, I need to go to Waitrose to get some food in, some all out, and then I was like, I need to whoosh around the house really quickly and then do podcast all those things I can't do with Edward do you know what I mean especially this podcast yeah I was like I need to they was like absolutely that's fine don't worry I'll take him to the park so my friends took Edward to the park um, and I have smashed it out this morning I was running around Waitrose like a lunatic I've come indoors do you know you just need to quickly put a wash on put some washing away yeah make the beds like wash over the toilets a little bit but I've done it all within like an hour and a half and I have now just sat down for a minute and I'm like and relax yeah for a minute I'm like oh. relax and chat Billy have you got anything for Greg for Father's Day yet I actually haven't, not yet. Oh, nor have I. And I think this week's sponsor, Manscaped, might be perfect. I've been looking at their performance package 4.0 for Paul. It's a complete grooming kit for men. And all the products have got hilarious names like the Lawn Mower, which is a trimmer, <laughs> and the Weed Whacker, which targets nose and ear hairs. That is hilarious. I think Greg would actually really like that as well. Unlike some presents that I've bought before and just end up getting in the garage. Yeah, I know what you mean. Manscaped are great because their skin safe technology makes it easier to trim hair without getting any nasty cuts. And for Father's Day, they're even adding in a travel bag and a pair of boxers into their performance package for free. I hope Greg doesn't wear those pants with his black socks. (laughs) <laughs> definitely <laughs> do you think we should get dad a set too absolutely i think he'd love that and listeners of this podcast can get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code sam and billy that's a 20 percent off with free shipping at manscape.com and use code sam and billy enjoy yeah so it's been um one of those weeks, and to be fair, Paul and Rosie have actually been really good. The only thing that's a bit awkward when you've got all three and, and no one else to help is the when Paul has clubs. So then I have to get Rosie, then oh, there's that yeah. hour in between, and then get Paul. So like yesterday, we went and got ice cream, went to the park, and I've got to do it again today because he's got another club tonight. That's the only thing that's been a little bit more like... Yeah, ball it's hard you know I mean? work. Because it's, you know, Apple doesn't want to be in the car for that long. But anyway, um, more exciting. Ibiza was amazing. Had yes. so much right, fun. Right, so I've been trying to ring Samantha all week, by the way, to our listeners to try and hear about Ibiza. And she's been avoiding me because she just couldn't be bothered to tell. I think I think when you first got back, you were still so tired, wasn't you? Well, it's not trip? that. It's that I actually need to, like, tell you everything. But 
I just can't even have a phone call, phone conversation without someone needing something, like one of the kids. Absolutely, totally get it. So we've got a bit of time now. So it was great. So we went on the Thursday. It was just three nights, which was the perfect amount of time. And actually, when I got back, although I was a little bit tired the first 24 hours, it didn't, that was all it took. So I actually am quite... To recover, yeah. Yeah, because you know what? We didn't do any of those mad big nightclubs. So that no. was... So you had, yeah, so you didn't go to bed at like, you wasn't going to bed at like 6am yeah, or anything like that. Exactly. So we was doing daytime drinking and then finishing off about midnight. Apart from the last night, we did go to Leo. We didn't get home till about half three after swinging by the kebab shop. Um, but we, <laughs> that was the only kind of late night. So really, it wasn't, yeah. although we was, you know, I think on the, you know, it's full on. our first drink was like half 10, 11, you know, and then we was drinking sort of all throughout the day. So it wasn't too intense because, you know, like most people go to Ibiza, they, you, you hit it hard. You do daytime and they're going to them nightclubs till six in the morning. We wasn't doing that. So no, it was a little so bit... so much better. So much better. And you actually feel, when you wake up and you're like, right, let's go again. It, you it know, is all about the day for me. I think that, you know, definitely. Like somewhere like Ibiza... I'm not fussed about them big clubs and all the, oh no, I love the daytime stuff. And we, and we music, have done Dark that. Beach. Like when we were younger, we've done yeah, those nightclubs. We've experienced them, but they're just a big load of nothing. No. I think unless you oh. are a raver and you like yeah. that, then, that sort of then great. But it's not for us. Like, you know. Anyway, so we done, you know, beach clubs, um, drinking in the day. The first night we had a villa party. So we had like a hired bar um, and we had. Our, thank God I took my speaker because the speaker in the villa was just rubbish. So my little speaker was like the heart of the Hindu. Like yeah. we, we had it in the car. So we had this sort of like boogie bus. We had like a driver slash security yeah. that was driving us around the island. But um, one thing that was one thing that was so annoying, Blue Marlin had issues with their licensing. The day we went, saying. there was zero music. But actually, my speaker come into handy. They let us put <laughs> our speaker on the bed. I don't know if they would allow that for everyone. But we was like, yeah. you know, come on, we're here for one day. It's our friend's hen. Can we put our music on if it's not too loud? And the waiter was like, I'm not going to say anything. So it was kind yeah, of like, like, you can't. Turn a blind eye. But if you, ha- if you must, then do. Anyway, that was the only thing, because you know how good Blue Marlin is. Like, oh, it's the best that, day. Like, I think on my hen in Ibiza, Blue Marlin was probably like one of our our best days. days, yeah, for sure. So, but oh, apart from that, you know, I, and we had the you get such, over it, you, you have to move on. <laughs> and, and then we ended up going back to the villa, had another villa party, got takeaway that was all fine. Like you can all be silly and you're all together. It doesn't really yeah. matter, does it? It's no. Nice. Um, I actually think sometimes the best parts of like nights out and Hindus are like the getting ready and the back at the rooms or, yeah. or like back at the villa after you know like where you could just be silly and really like really and don't, let your hair down with exactly all the girls. don't care who's watching you know play yeah. what music you want to play because it is a little bit house it's quite housey in Ibiza there's not much lyrics yeah. to the music mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so that was sort of good having our own music but um the best day by far was Saturday so we got a boat to Formentera uh, went to Bizu for lunch and it's like a vibey beach club. Back to the boat, all really drunk, jumping off. You know, that was really fun. Yeah. And then that night we went to Leo. So that was a big day. Um, yeah. And then Leo was great because the music is like, the show is all the music that you love. You know, it goes from Backstreet Boys to Elton John to, yeah. all the, you know, it's really fun. Oh, it's so good. Do they still arrive on the boat? Uh, do you know what we had? A, we had the most rubbishest table. I did. Do you know, in the end, I was like, I can't even see anything, so I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my tequila. Um, but we were <laughs> laughing because we did arrive late to our reservation, and they pack out that restaurant, don't they? And I think because Completely, we was yeah. probably the last ones to walk in, um, we got the short end of the straw. But it doesn't matter. Like we was like, it's fine, and obviously been to Leo before and not long been to the Leo in London so the show is incredible but I was sort of in a really awkward like trying to look and in the end I'm like you know what I'm just going to enjoy the vibe because I can't see anything (laughs) yeah cool so I don't know how was the food in there it was good we just got like sharing stuff we got like jamon that was my favorite you know the ham (laughs) of course Um, 
that by then you didn't care what you was we, eating we but was you was like pass me the bread <laughs> yeah we was literally at loads of bread no we got sushi um oh actually we got a couple of big steaks cut up so that was really nice nice we, yeah do you know what we didn't stop eating and it's really funny because sharon who who was our bride her sister and best friend they're italian and didn't sp- uh, her sister didn't speak much english anyway so the, the sister said to sharon I just can't believe how much your friends eat. Like, I was <laughs> laughing so much because if we wasn't eating with lunch or getting a takeaway at the villa, we was having bowls of crisps, you know. Yeah, we was getting like up and just... It was just... But we ate really well. So that was great. So, and we drank a lot. So, But then the, the, the mixture didn't really get... No one really had a hangover. Was there any, um, like, anything really funny that happened when you was out and about? Like, any situation loads of or... stuff really do you know what happens when you're in a hindu any you can talk about uh <laughs> yeah pretty much i can say i can pretty much talk about everything really if it was very low-key i don't know how you what, what the right um, word is pc pc um but you know it's like when you're out in hens and then there's stags there was a lot of like stags that wanted to like you know wear sharon's crown or like hat or you know oh, take our yeah. masks or get a picture with us oh. lot because we're the hens and oh the stags have told me to come and get a picture with you bunch of hens there was a lot of that um yeah, of course which was fun like it was fine um but uh, i'm just trying to think on the light of leo's one of our friends was slightly more drunk than the rest of us and she did not <laughs> want to, she did not want to go home there's but, always one but you know it's really funny it was like trying to get everyone together to leave the club well i say the club it was leo's oh, ga- gathering up the hens <laughs> gathering the hens up we ended up getting everyone in the party bus and she was like you're so boring it's only one o'clock it was like it's half three like by the time we get back yeah. it's four. but the, you know that was funny we stopped off you know you spend literally thousands on food and drink in these places and then we was like starving so we had to like swing yeah. by this kebab shop on the way home I had the biggest hot dog you've ever did seen the next <laughs> day we was laughing so much it was like half the size of my arm I was it, it a, a, was it like a foot long hot dog yes <laughs> and I and if one else was like park. <clears throat> Everyone else was sharing like chicken nuggets or pizzas, but I, re- I obviously saw that hot dog and went for gold. I ate the whole thing, and it was and the next day I felt ashamed of myself. I was like, oh, why? And you know, that hot dog meat is like probably the worst thing you could ever possibly eat oh. and put into your body. So I had yeah. to like, like try and take my mind away from it and get over it. But no, we was just, yeah, oh, when we was in the car waiting, like she was bibbing the horn and like bibbing, bibbing. Obviously, there's loads <laughs> of like neighbors and you know, flats of people, but. <laughs> Just, oh. just the music, the car journeys home were always funny, like just drunk yeah. silliness, you know. But we had a really, really good time. And when I got back, it was like, oh my gosh, because Paul flew straight away. So thank God mum yeah. was there on the Sunday. And then the next day, I only had one nap. So when Edward napped, I had a good two hour nap of Edward. And then I was all right, really. Come Tuesday, I was kind of back into the rhythm of it. But I, I have had a sore throat from all the shouting and singing. And do you know what I mean? So I'm a little bit. Yeah, of but other than that, it's been fine. Like there was some, there was a group of boys that I was chatting to on the flight on the way home. I was sitting next. They're all older. They were like in their fifties, and um, they hit it hard. They was like, "Yeah, we done this in the day, and then this in the night till eight, six, seven, eight in the morning." I was no. like, Ugh, "Oh my how? god, it couldn't, could you? I couldn't walk out of one of those clubs. Imagine it being daylight. Oh my oh, god, no." I just don't, it, honestly, I was like, yous must be in bits. There was like, oh, it's going to hit us tomorrow, Monday, Monday morning. But it's so different, like, for for men. Like, I don't know, like, us coming back, imagine, like, straight away, the me- I mean, obviously, Paul's gone away, be like, here we go, like, straight back with the kids. Like, you can't, there's no time for it. No, there's not. Um, but actually, it was really lucky with the weather because everyone that was sort of living on the island said that the weather's been quite hit and miss and really rainy. So, thank God, we had really good yeah. weather. Yeah. So it was great. Looked really good in your pit. So guys, have you ever wondered how we make our social media posts on the podcast Instagram page? Well, loads of the graphics on our account are made by using Canva for Teams, who are sponsoring today's episode. Canva makes it really quick and easy to make and edit templates, which is perfect for our weekly podcasts. They make it simple to stay on brand with colour and font suggestions to match your style and their magic design tool makes unique templates just for you. We actually use it to make the template for our dear Sam and Billy dilemmas, which we can change every week in a few simple clicks. And with Canva for Teams, everyone can collaborate on the same design without needing to be in the same room. I can make changes in Essex while Sam can make hers in Surrey. You can also use it for more than just improving your Instagram. 
You can design party invitations, print your images onto mugs or posters, or even edit videos. Design and collaborate with Canva for Teams right now. You can get a free 45-day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash Sam and Billy. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash Sam and Billy for a free 45-day extended trial. Go to canva.me slash Sam and Billy. Um, well... Oh, so we had all the kids, didn't we? Had yes, like, on the Saturday, didn't you? On the so they come over on the Friday, stayed. So me and Mum looked after seven kids <laughs> um, on Friday Amazing. and Saturday. That was intense. It was it was great, but we was exhausted. So we had Nelly, um, Arthur, Margot, Rosie, Paul, Edward, and then Teddy. Um, who's our cousin, who's a little bit older. Um, they just all day was playing, having fun. Um, we done food, like sausage. It was, it was brilliant. They had such a good time. That was like, that was at the end of the half term. That was on the, yeah, it was half term, wasn't it? That was on the Friday and, and the Saturday. Yeah. Um, sleepover. Um, the boys... The boys were up till, they were up till so late. Well, I heard this because Rosie grasped Paul up and then Paul texts me saying, apparently Paul's been awake all night. And I said, well, it's just all cousins together. Like, obviously it's going to happen. My mum's got the baby, blah, blah, blah. And Paul went, I'm getting all this information from Rosie. (laughs) No, that's hilarious, right? So what happened was I went in there, must have been about, 11 o'clock, I was getting into bed with like to um, feed Margot. Yeah. The boys, the TV was off. They was all asleep. Anyway, right. so I thought, perfect, great. TV's off, I sit there asleep. Anyway, go get into the bed with, um, into my room. And then Greg must, Greg was out that night, right? So he must not have had a key. I wonder where Greg He's was. now knocking at the door at 1am so Teddy's woken up and then the boys have basically got up at one. Te- one's got out of the bed. They've all got out of the bed, Greg. So they all come running down the stairs and have opened no. the door and let me in. Oh, what, what, did Greg not have keys? <laughs> didn't have keys. Didn't have house keys. I was asleep, right? Oh. Which is really unusual for me because I wake up at a pin drop. But yeah. where I'm up with Margot as well, it must have been like that time that I'd gone into a deep sleep. Anyway, so then I then wake up about two in the morning, I can still hear that the boys are awake. So they've woken up, now they're all in the bed, like giggling. I've run in there. I went, what is going on in here? I was like, the headmistress, like like Paul, little Paul looked at me as if to say, auntie, I'm sorry. And then anyway, they both, they all went, oh no, Teddy went, I've just gone to the toilet. And then they was all like, oh, and then they they literally went straight asleep after that. But it was, um, yeah, and then the next morning, but I mean, listen, it, it, you know, when they're all together. But it was funny because the next day, I think Arthur and Paul felt really cool that they'd really? had a really late night. Uh, like they, yeah. But the maddest thing is they'd gone to sleep, woken up, and they, I think they had like a mad hour and then went back to went sleep back to again. sleep, yeah. But I remember yeah, when no, we were younger, if ever we was like with our cousins or mum, friends or whatever, we'd be up and giggling and laughing and, you, just, you know, it's part of growing up. But also, where they'd been on the go, when I mean in the swimming pool, on the go, playing all day, I couldn't believe how. I was like, how, how? are they still away? It's crazy. Well, they had a power nap. Greg r- yeah. woke them up and then they then they went back to sleep eventually. But yeah, no, it was, it was brilliant. They all had such a nice time. So that was really lovely. And then across half term, just like stuff with the kids, really. Yeah, nice. Um, oh, Elton John, that was great, oh, wasn't yeah, it? yeah, we went to Elton. That was the night before I went away. Was it the night? Yeah. Oh, Elton's great. I'm so glad we got to see him because obviously there was always that worry of not being able to see him because he cancelled the last tour. It was brilliant. I've really enjoyed it. I'm really sorry. You got a fly? Like dragonfly thing. A big dragonfly has just flown in this window. I've got to try and get it out one minute. It's like floating, you know, like one of those that's like buzzy. Oh my God, go. It's making me feel on edge. Just. <gasps> <laughs> I'm trying to get it. Yes, go, go. I'm really sorry Damn. about that. It, You know, like one of them dragonfly things that's like zzzz, and it's like yeah, floating around the like room. Yeah, I don't like them. Sorry, back to Elton John. Um, Elton was amazing. So obviously so it's the second time I've seen him. First time I went to see him, Greg had one too many. 
<laughs> Second time I went to see him, Greg also had one too many. I texted you, didn't I? A video of him, us leaving the O2. I got a video and, of him swinging mum around. I posted it on my stories, actually. It was yeah, really he funny. was... <clears throat> I went, what is it? The next morning, I said to him, what is it with you and the O2? Like, you just get out of control. He was like... Maybe as well. You know, like when someone doesn't really remember much, he didn't even want me to talk about it. The cab journey home... He voice noted me. You know, when someone's such a pest, the biggest pest, all the way home, literally, I I just had to shut down from it in the end. It's hilarious. Yeah. He voice noted me the next day. it was a great night. Saying, oh, was I embarrassing? Like, did I do anything to embarrass anyone? And I was like... Yeah, he had had the horrors. I I was thinking, you embarrassed me. You might have embarrassed yourself, but you didn't embarrass me. (laughs) Don't worry about it. (laughs) <laughs> That's what you you should have wrote back saying you might have embarrassed yourself but not me. <laughs> but no, <laughs> but no that funny. was that was a really good night actually. That was great. I, lo- I really enjoyed that. Really fun. So um, what, what day are we on today? Thursday. So what are you up to this yeah. weekend? I have got a oh I've just family stuff like we've I've, we've got um, our nephew's um, Bodie's party on Sunday, second birthday, oh, and nice. then Saturday. We've got um, Oliver's Holy Communion Saturday oh, as well. Oh, that's nice. So we've just got oh, so like got a weekend, weekend of like nice, yeah, celebrations. That's nice. What about you? So I've got, so again, Paul's back tomorrow night. So Saturday we will do, is he asleep? Oh, Edward's back, he's asleep. Um, oh, the kitchen. Sorry, I'll whisper a second till he's in the kitchen. Um, so Saturday we are... So pulled back Friday, Saturday family day, Saturday evening we've got dinner party at friends a friend's house, which I'm looking forward to. And then Sunday nice. I'm having a chill day at home with the kids, but Paul's going to Soccer Aid and I was meant to be going, but I'm not because it's another kind of day and night and it's up north. Mm. And I just didn't want another night away. Yeah. Is it? Mm. So I was thinking I'm not gonna do that because I just want to be at home with the kids really, to be yeah, honest. And especially after Sometimes having- it's just hard, isn't it? Like, especially I think with free and having a baby. Like, yeah. me and Greg, we was meant to do something this weekend. Anyway, it all got changed because. Yeah. But it's it's hard. Getting you have to like, make sacrifices when you have kids. <laughs> and oh, little Paul's got his um swimming gala tomorrow. First one that we're oh. actually watching. So I'm really excited oh, for that. Tell him good luck. I will tell him. Let us know how he gets on. I'll let you know. He's really excited actually. You know they've you know they're always doing like little mini competitions and bits and bobs in school, but we've never actually been able to watch it. So tomorrow I actually get to watch oh, him in like a little swing race. So that'll be fun. That's good. Remember, Samantha, remember me and you, just a quick one. So me and Samantha, we used to um, compete always against each other. compete against each other in the swimming galas at school. It would always end up being us two, didn't it? Always. Against You know, like you'd go through the rounds. Yeah. And we was obviously both quite strong swimmers. And we would always be like, oh, the sisters, wasn't it? And mum would be like, didn't know who to, who to, who cheer, to cheer for both. Well, she'd cheer for both of us. Do you remember the one where it was like a hand touch? And I it think was like, like, yeah. And I think it was you that, was think, it you that won? I think it was, but it was like a... It was like, it was like a sex like, And mm. you know, like when everyone's looking at the ref to see like who'd actually who won. Who got it? That was funny. <laughs> Actually, mum used to put us in diving school as well, didn't she? We, we used, used to go to diving. diving. But can, do you know what? There's something quite, um, something quite like, it gives me a little bit of nostalgic. What is it? Nostalgic, but um, you know, when you think about swimming baths and like that, that the member used to whistle. be the gun. Yeah, it used to be the gun. Now it's a whistle, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. Bam. And, and the whistle, so as well. Oh, your heart. Yeah. Like Remember, it used to be like, yeah, and, and really nerve wracking and like echoey and the yeah. bright lights. You know, it is, it is actually quite scary. But I, I'm obviously not going to tell it to Paul because, you know, no, have fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can do yeah. this. <laughs> Just enjoy it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Um, okay, great. Well, it was lovely to catch up. <laughs> it's the only time yes. we spoke all week. <laughs> it's a quick one, but next week we'll make it up. Yeah. Oh, and also, guys, don't forget that there's the Oasis Fest on the 2nd of July. Billy and I are going to be on stage for the first time live doing a bit of a mini podcast um, and actually, it'd be quite interesting to see what people might want to hear from us on the stage. I think Ask Us Anything's great, but I also oh, think yeah. we should have some stories, like some dilemmas to read out, or, you know, it'd be great to hear your feedback. Um, and also, you can get tickets, um, and we'll post some bits on our Instagram, so you can come and see us. There's loads of other stuff going on. It's a full-on festival, um, but we are appearing at that festival, <laughs> and it's in Surrey. So um, <laughs> that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. Um, Okay, guys, thank you so much, and I will speak to you later. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.